Welcome to Quick Take Movie Review. Here's a detailed review of Under Paris, starring Berenice Bejo, Nassim Lies, Leia Laviant, and directed by Xavier Jens. Under Paris follows the story of a scientist who discovers that a shark is lurking in the Seine Paris. Determined to stop the aquatic menace, the scientist embarks on a mission to protect the city from the unexpected predator, leading to a series of thrilling and dangerous encounters. Watch this review until the end to find out if you are the target audience. Under Paris isn't a groundbreaking entry in the creature feature genre, but it offers a unique twist by setting the action in the picturesque city of Paris. While it borrows heavily from classics like Piranha, Jaws, and Godzilla 98, the change of location adds a fresh element of intrigue and excitement. One of the film's standout aspects is its cinematography. Though not extraordinary, the visuals are clean and brightly lit, effectively capturing the scenic beauty of Paris. This attention to detail extends to the underwater shots, which are particularly well executed and add to the film's overall appeal. The visual effects are a mixed bag. When the shark is shown underwater, the rendering is impressive and believable. However, the effects falter when the shark is depicted outside of water, appearing tacky and less convincing. This inconsistency can be distracting but doesn't entirely detract from the film's entertainment value. Berenice Bejo leads the cast with a commendable performance, bringing depth and credibility to her role as the determined scientist. While a few characters exhibit some depth, most are one-dimensional, serving primarily to advance the plot rather than to engage the audience on a deeper level. The screenplay maintains a steady pace, although it tends to be predictable. Director Xavier Jens clearly draws inspiration from various iconic movies, yet he manages to keep under Paris watchable. The concept of a shark roaming the catacombs of Paris is intriguing and well-visualized, adding a layer of novelty to the film. Without giving away any spoilers, the ending delivers a surprising twist that is sure to catch viewers off guard. Jens's direction would have benefited from a stronger embrace of B-movie sensibilities, which could have elevated the film into a great guilty pleasure. As it stands, Under Paris straddles the line between good and bad, struggling to fully embrace its identity. It's not a terrible film, but it doesn't quite reach the heights of being genuinely great either. In conclusion, Under Paris is a middle-of-the-road creature feature that can be enjoyable if watched with measured expectations. It's worth a watch for its unique setting and the occasional thrill, but don't expect a masterpiece. If you're a fan of the genre and curious about a shark terrorizing the city of lights, this movie might just be the one-time watch you're looking for. Fans of the movies listed here will find Under Paris equally appealing due to its comparable plotlines and sensibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.